What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So 93 overall, Coleman is the player we will be reviewing today. But before we get into it, I want to say a big thank you to my guy, No Look Assist, for allowing me to hop onto his account and actually use this player. Because it's unbelievable. Look at the stats and he's worth 2.2 mil. He hasn't played a single game with him, which means he probably just bought it for me, which I, I'm more than grateful, honestly. But before we get into it, once again, if you guys got any icon moments on your account any like the loan icon moment it doesn't matter and you allow me to obviously hop onto your account and review the person please hit me up on twitter or your mf on twitter or link will be in the description if you can't obviously find it now let's get straight into this review 93 overall center back 80 pace 83 dribbling 90 shooting 93 defending 88 physical 92 passing <sighs> stats look insane insane and to sit there and think he's a center back i personally think that is a joke no way is this guy centre back. He is clearly a CDM. For the love of God, he's got 90 shooting. 5 for 11. A perfect example why I will be using him centre back today, but I'm probably going to be using more CDM because I don't really like a 5 for 11 centre back. For, for me, 6 foot 1 is the minimum I will go for a centre back because they need that interception reach. And 5 foot 11 for a centre back is looking quite tough out here. So, CDM, he should fit nice there. Another reason why I do believe he is a CDM over a centre-back is high-medium work rates. The only other player that I can think of that's got high-medium work rates is Screen PK, which is obviously he's good as well. But at the same time, I'm using Team of the Year and Dyke, which has medium-high. So, they're going to be one up here and one down here. So, it's just not going to work out together. Now, the three-star skill moves. I don't do skill moves with my centre-back slash CDMs anyway. Three-star weak foot is going to be nice because I'm going to be able to cut onto that left foot and pass with it. I've used a two-star weak foot centre-back before, and uh, let me tell you, it didn't look pretty. Now, he is on an anchor, hang, uh, sorry, anchor chemistry style. He's obviously on 10 chem, couldn't speak there. 82 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Now, you might have looking at, like, yeah, he's pretty decently paced in the midfield, to be fair to him. But, if you look on the other side, 98 aggression. That's what you're meant to be looking at, simply because that 98 aggression is going to be insane. It's going to make him faster, it's going to make him win the ball more, and it's going to make him win more 50-50s. Now, he's got 80 attacking position, 85 finishing, 99 shot power, 97 long shots, 85 volleys, and 98 penalties. Now, shooting-wise, he is unbelievable. Yeah, if it comes to him on the edge of the box, I am banging that shot like there is no tomorrow. Because, most likely... It probably won't go in but because long shots aren't great on this game. But at the same time, why not give it a go? Now, he's got 83 vision, 90 crossing, 99 free kick accuracy, 90 short passing, 99 long passing, and 97 curve. I'm looking at that long passing and I'm saying to myself, this guy's going to be able to do those over top through balls that from one pitch, one side of the pitch to the other. And that's going to be insane because it's a low key like an exploit at this point. Now, the 90 short passing should be nice as well. The link I played a little give and go. The one twos should feel very, very nice. I love his 97 curve as well, which means he's going to be able to do that little swerve pass around the outside. Now, he's got 68 agility, 74 balance, 94 reactions, 88 ball control, 80 dribbling and 93 composure. Dribbling stats, eh. His agility is very low, his balance is low as well. He's going to probably be doing falling over animations. But I'm looking at that ball control thing to myself. He's going to be nice and calm and composed on the ball, which means he's going to be probably keeping that ball very close to his feet. Now, he's got 99 interceptions. Him being 5 for 11, he hasn't really got the reach, but at the same time, what's going to help him is that 99 defensive awareness. He's going to be in the right place at the right time. So that's always nice. 99 standing tackle, 99 slide tackle. <laughs> if we could talk about defensive stats... He's got it, and trust me on that. Now, he's got 97 jumping and 97 heading accuracy, which means he will be winning headers over probably 6 foot 1 and above. Zana is always impressive to see. 90 stamina, which means up and down the pitch, he shouldn't have a problem. 93 strength, bodying players left, right, and center. And as I said, in the, as I said at the start, 98 aggression. Now, today I have linked him up with Desai and Van Dijk. I've also got the likes of Pirlo moments, which I just did a review on. If you guys missed it, link will be in the description. Team of the Year, Kante and Zerbio. So, Komen will be playing in a 4-2-3-1, playing in the, center the CDM at the start. But then I'm going to gradually put him into that centre-back role to see how he plays there as well. But let's get straight into these games. So let's see how Komen really feels on the ball right now. Doesn't feel too bad, to be fair to him. Let's see that through ball coming into play. That 99 long passing is absolutely insane. Look at that ball to James, man. 
Nice, I like how he pushed up there. Wow, okay, using his strength. That's nice. Little turns. One, two. Zerbiel. Ooh, I wanted to go for his legs there. Very unfortunate, but I loved how Coleman used his strength there to kind of shoulder off the ball. Coleman is making runs, and I didn't really expect that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I wanted one of those back stick crosses, if you know what I mean. Look at this tracking. That is Ben Yede. He's not slow at all. And it, Coleman is catching up to him, which is always a nice sight to see. And just winning the ball. Now, you could obviously say that come, came down to strength because he did do a shoulder barge animation. But I didn't really see him shoulder barge him, if you know what I mean. Nice, good interception. Can I get another interception? That is amazing. I love that reaction time. He turned instantly after failing to intercept the ball. I say failing, but to be fair to him, he did get the ball, but it just bounced straight off him back to the opponent. He used his reaction time just to get back up, get back on, you know, track and intercept it once again. Okay, what? What did I just witness? I did not expect that shot to go anywhere near. I thought it was actually going to get blocked. That's why I didn't really I didn't really speak it as much. Nice. I'm actually going to go for Finesse. It's going to be a good shot just off target. And that's what I mean about, obviously, long shots being very, very inconsistent this year. It's a proper, proper gamble if it's actually on target or not. So that's why I don't really like it much. I like Coleman there. You see how we just pressured the guy into a mistake. He put him under pressure. The guy couldn't handle it. And Coleman pretty much came out of the ball. What a pass. Oh, my God. Very unfortunate we didn't get a finish there. Most likely should have finessed in their post. It would have probably been better. But at the same time, that calm and composure from Coleman in the midfield to take it. Fake shot, move to a side, then pass to a Zerbi for the wide open chance. And we all know the ball's going to get there because Coleman has amazing passing. Cool, man. <laughs> I love the way he, he, it's not the way he feels, it's the way he takes the touch is the most important thing. The way he takes the touch is, is like he doesn't even need to be that agile. He's already, the touch is already that agile, if you know what I mean. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna say it. All I want, I clicked LBX to go to my fullback and somehow, someway, Komen has found one of the best passes I've possibly ever seen on this game. Nice, a really nice standing tackle. I love his tackling. It's unbelievable. He gets in the right place at the right time. And all I need to do is simply just click B with him. Another good interception. I didn't really like how he got body there. He, like the the fruit, like sorry, the switch of play that he does is unbelievable. The amount of power and like dip he puts on the ball. It kind of doesn't give a chance to a defender to come and sweep the ball, if you know what I mean. Really nice for RBA first time touch. Uh, sorry, first time touch. First time pass. And somehow, some way, Pirlo is screwed up. Beautiful dribbling. You see what I mean about his touches are so good. You don't. Sometimes you don't need to be agile. If your touches are that good, like Komen, you don't need that agility. The touches are going to do exactly what you need it to do. Go through that space. Nice, well played. One, two, most likely. Good touch. Can I get a finish? Obviously I can. He's a CDM slash centre back that can bury shots exactly like that. I love the way he positions himself as obviously a CDM because that is where he's playing. But he plays him like a centre mid position as well. Supporting me, giving me that passing option to do that one two with Azerbiel. Azerbiel with his amazing passing, passes back to Coleman. And I mean, Coleman ain't going to miss from there with them shooting stats. Great tackle. Well played, man. His tackling is really, really good, man. He puts in the strongest tackle that I've ever seen. Can I get this through? Well, Neymar wasn't even making a run. And somehow, someway, Komen has picked him out. Nice. It wasn't a greatest touch and turn, I must admit. But at the same time, he did fairly well to just get the ball back. Pace in the midfield with him, it's really, really good. He feels super fast when he's off the ball. Now, when he's on the ball, I wouldn't say he feels rapid, for example, like there, Guerrero easily catching up. But at the same time, when he's off the ball, I tell you what, he is very, very fast. Nice little turning. What a pass. He threaded that needle, I tell you that. I should have really screwed up there. I saw an angle as well. Just going to wait for the opening. Oh my god, that would have been such a good pass if that did land. Right, so we have got a free kick right on the edge. And we know what Coleman's free kicks are like, right? 
99 free kick accuracy, 99 uh, sorry, 99 shot power as well. Should we go over the wall? I feel like the guy is going to move the keeper most likely, so uh, why not go over the wall? Going to angle it slightly. It is green. It is over the wall, but it's not that far into the corner. I'll tell you what, though. I can't aim with this controller. It is so, so bad. I love the Xbox controller so much because it feels nice. But when it comes down to aiming on this controller, I don't know, man. I can't get my grip around it. Nice. What a tackle as well. I don't know. He dropped in between the centre-backs there, which was a bit weird because I've never seen a CDM that deep. And I haven't obviously got the instruction drop between defenders. I never used that instruction. And he just came out of nowhere, but he was, it looked like he was man-marking someone, which is always nice to see, using that defensive awareness. And he just went straight in and got that tackle off. My God, that defensive awareness from Coleman has just saved me from conceding. Because I tell you what, Van Dyke was not getting to that ball, but the AI Coleman completely did. Standing still, I take a touch to the left, a slight touch, and Coleman comes out with that. He comes out with, oh, he's kind of get a banger here. Oh, that was a really good shot. Whoa, you see the amount of curve on that ball after it got saved. But I, did you see Coleman's pass though? Jesus Christ, man. So it is time to review, man. Let me say, this card is outstanding. The way he just, the way he functions in the game is ridiculous. He can literally do everything apart from his agility is good, but the ball control kind of helps it. But at the same time, he's not one of those players you're always going to feel like you're, you know, you're a god with. You know, you're not going to feel like you can turn with him inside out. You're going to turn with him like Pirlo. You're going to turn with him like Messi or Neymar. That's the only problem with him. But I've, everything else, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. 5 for 11. I didn't actually mind it in the midfield this time. It wasn't actually that bad. But I feel like it was because how fast he was, was ridiculous. Now, the high medium work rates, once again, wasn't too bad if he would stay back while attacking. He also helped a lot in attacking. And that was useful, I must admit. He actually did get an assist off it. He ran into the space, received the ball. Pass to Azebu and Azebu is not going to uh, not going to miss in front of goal. Pace wise, as I said, unbelievable, unbelievable. How fast this guy is off the ball, on the ball when you're running with him, it's a whole different story. He doesn't feel fast at all. But off the ball when you're moving left to right, we're holding LT or RT with defending, crazy, crazy good. Power, uh, sorry, power. Finishing wise, he did actually bury a shot and it was like a proper, proper bury. As you clearly can see, one goal. It was bottom bins and everything. He found himself in a position. One thing I can say about his finishing is that he hits it with so much power. It is ridiculous. But I did only have, I think it was two shots of him. And he did score what one of them. And he, he missed the other, but it wasn't a great chance. But <laughs> if he gets the chance, yeah, why not bang the shot of him? Passing wise, one of the best passes I've ever seen in this game. He has got a crazy pass. He finds, he finds like spots. That I've never actually seen anyone else play. And I've played with Team Lea, De Bruyne. That moment's Pirlo. I just played with him. And Coleman, I must say. It's probably the best passer I've ever actually witnessed. 100%. Agility wise, as I said. He hasn't got the greatest turning ability. But at the same time, the ball control keeps it nice and close to his feet while turning. Okay, holding LT while moving. It is very, very nice. Defensive stats are unbelievable. His standing tackle was crazy good. His defensive awareness was insane. Like, insane to another level insane. The way he the way he just man-marked, he cut passing lanes. He was out to positions that i never seen any CDM with 99 defensive awareness come out to. I was super, super impressed by him, I must admit. Jumping-wise, I didn't really get to test out jumping. He didn't really have the chance to win a header, I'm not going to lie. Stamina-wise, up and down the pitch wasn't a problem. Strength, bodying players left, right and centre, which was nice to see. Aggression, even made him faster. And I do believe that is why he was super, super fast. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. Honestly, 10 out of 10. In a CDM position. 100%. No doubt. 10 out of 10. He was insane, and he is one of the best player moment cards I have actually used. But <laughs> if you you can pick this card up, he's 2.2 mil. He's probably gone down by now, but 
2.2 mil. I believe it is worth it. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.